ones I ordered have arrived and hopefully that is the case. So hopefully I can show you guys what I got later. And I'm also excited because I've got it in my head that I'm going to make some vegetable soup. And it's starting to get a little cooler outside, so I start wanting some soup. And yeah, so super excited about that. Gonna be doing that later. And right now I am just enjoying this beautiful drive. The trees are starting to change color and it is just it's just beautiful. Just beautiful. So I'll see you guys later with these boxes of stuff hopefully. And I'm gonna make some veggies. Alright guys, I am back and I am ready to open some boxes. So I got this box. And I have this, this big old box. The big box is actually super light. I'm pretty sure I know what's in this one. Let's see what it says. Yeah. So let's, uh, let's see what's in here. of Quest protein chips. These are sour cream and onion. My phone just will not, like it just won't, it just, it's not gonna stay there. Um, so there's eight, I don't know if you can see. That's eight in here. And then I also have the cheddar and sour cream flavor. All that for this. And that's why it was so light. All I had in it was chips. So, let's see if I can show you guys this. I don't know if you're going to be able to read this or not, but anyway, these chips for one bag it has 130 calories, got four fat, four carbs, and 21 grams of protein. How awesome is that? Four carbs and 21 grams of protein. Like, it does not get better than that. Um, I don't remember exactly how much these were, but I actually got a subscription on Amazon. Uh, so they're going to send to me every month and it was just a lot cheaper to do it like that than to try to buy them and I can't hardly find them around here that often anyway so it works out and it's telling me my camera battery is low so hope we make it through this okay just stuff I decided to start ordering off of Amazon because it's cheaper. Alright, I just discovered these. They are so good. They're my new favorite thing to eat after I work out. Literally amazing. These are 205 calories. Also, they're salted caramel, which it's amazing. Um, 205 calories, 13 fat, 9 carbs, 13 grams of protein. And they're just very light. They're kind of like those, like, peanut butter wafer 
type of things. Are you staying at my grandma's house? I don't know. That's, that's kind of what they're like. But they're not like most protein bars. My camera is going to die. They're not like most protein bars that are just super heavy. Like, yeah, it's 13 grams of protein. A lot of protein bars have more than that. But they're just so easy to eat, and they're just light, and they're just... They're just nice. They taste great, too. So, you can't beat that. And I'm going to try this. It is a pancake mix. Um, so, this Berry Wise, it's a brand I've found. I haven't tried it yet, but... They have a lot of like low carb, high protein type of things. So this is pancake mix. It's just golden delicious. It's not like a flavor or anything. Um, so serving size is one packet, uh, 90 calories. Uh, fat is 0.5 grams. Total carbs is six, and there's 15 protein for one of these. So. Along with this, I have, let me just go ahead and open these, I have two of these, but I got some Buff Bake, this is the birthday cake, had this before, it's so good, it's so good, spread the fit, okay, spread the fit. <laughs> so on this you got, uh, your serving size is two tablespoons, 198 calories, 16 grams of fat, 8 carbs, 11 grams of protein, and only 3 sugars. So why I showed you these together is because I like to make protein pancakes, which basically, up until now, I pretty much would use like regular pancake mix, kind of. But you basically take out some of... It's kind of hard to describe it without just actually doing it, which I am I am going to show you guys how I make these. But basically you kind of just have to substitute some of like the pancake mix for protein powder. So that's how you make protein pancakes. And then you put in, like I, when I do it, I put in um, like baking powder so they still rise because you're taking out, you know, Depending on what it is you're making, if it's pancakes, you know, you're taking out some of that flour-based stuff that has ingredients in it that make it rise, make it fluffy, so you kind of have to substitute for that a little bit, so I do that by putting in some baking powder, but uh, I love making protein pancakes, and instead of like putting butter or syrup or whatever on top, putting buff bake on top. And then it's actually really good, like it's actually, you know, pancakes is not something you think that you could make ahead of time, like as a meal prep, but I found that I actually love making pancakes. Go ahead and put this on it, and then put it in the refrigerator, and when it's cold, like I actually eat the pancakes cold with this on it, because it kind of, well this is, uh, this is almond spread, so it's kind of like a... When it's cold, it's just kind of like, I mean, if you like cold peanut butter, I mean, I'm, I'm maybe I'm weird, I, I like stuff cold, but it's just, honestly, it's so good, it's hard to describe, it's just kind of like a, it's got like a good texture, like a good crunch to it, and it's actually like super good, but, um, so yeah, I actually usually would make strawberry protein pancakes and put the birthday cake on top of it, might sound like an odd combination. But it's really good. So this already has 15 grams of protein in it though, which is amazing. Uh, I'm probably going to try this by itself to see what the taste is like. But, you know, if the taste is not that good, like I can doctor it up, especially by putting more protein in it, which is great because it already has 15 grams in it. So that's pretty awesome. So that's why I got these two things together. And now in a box in a box guys what is this inception mess Ugh. hurry so this is what I have been waiting on this is actually the, what I went to buy 
on Amazon, and then I ended up getting all this other cool stuff that I have. Bob's Red Mill Pea Protein. So, literally all this is made of is pea protein isolate. That's it. One ingredient. So, this is unflavored, unsweetened, and for a fourth a cup, it's 100 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, 2 carbs, 21 grams of protein for a fourth a cup of this. A fourth a cup is so such a small amount. Like, that's so crazy to me. Um, so, basically, I... So, pretty much I've gotten used to, in the mornings, eating smoothie bowls. Um, I have found that I don't like them to be milk-based. Uh, like the strawberry banana ones, like, it's okay. But with that, with like the strawberry or strawberry banana, I would take strawberry protein and put it in it, and then all the milk. It's just like, um, milk-based. But when you make things like mango-flavored or whatever, I always put coconut water in it because, like, milk just doesn't go with it. I don't think. I don't like it. And then trying to, like, add protein in it that already has another flavor. It just doesn't taste good. So I was like, I want to find, and I have no, I've never tried any plant-based protein. So I was like, I want to find a plant-based protein that's unflavored that's not completely nasty, that I could add into all these smoothie bowls and stuff that I'm making because there's not much protein in those smoothie bowls when I'm making it with most of the food. So I researched several different types and this was the best I could find as far as being super low carb and super high protein. It's like amazing. So I cannot wait to try this. I hope it's not gross. I'm just gonna... I smell everything. You guys haven't figured that out yet. It does not smell bad. Um, it doesn't even smell like peas. I thought that it would be like green and weird and nasty, but... Let me see. If you guys can... Yeah. Yeah, so... It's, I don't want to pour it out everywhere. But yeah. Um... It smells and you're just like, it's like a cardboard box and it's just like, it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't really smell like anything, but it kind of smells like something, like, it's kind of what it's like, it's like, hmm, it's kind of like a, like a dried plant smell, I don't know, like, when you're in the woods in the fall and like the leaves are falling, but it's like a dry day, that, that smell, just a kind of like dry plant smell. I don't know. I'm being weird. Anyway, <laughs> that's what it. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, guys! I have just seen the most revolutionary thing ever, literally ever in my life. I have to show you this. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not. Kind of. So you see that? That's basically essentially like a almost Velcro. It's not Velcro, but it's kind of like Velcro. This is so crazy, and it just like you hear that. Now it's completely sealed. Instead of those stupid little Ziploc type things that like the powder gets in there and then it's just won't seal anymore. It's just those little like velcro type little things and it just like slips together so nice that's amazing i hope this is not nasty because i'm already in love so i'm definitely going to be putting this probably in one of my mini smoothie bowls i make in the morning and doing a recipe about it and letting you guys know how this is because I'm super excited about this. Like, the fact that it didn't just smell disgusting. I'm, I'm amazed. I can't wait. Can't wait to try this.
But now I'm going to make vegetable soup. So let's do that. <laughs> Alright, so I've got everything prepared to make this vegetable soup. So I have got tomato sauce, some black beans, some pinto beans, two celery stalks, six very small potatoes, a whole red onion, and I have some frozen cut corn, some frozen sliced carrots, and I also have some crumblers here to put some meat in it. Um, this is the first time I bought the crumbles. Uh, I actually usually use the patties for everything, but then I realized that they had meat that was already like crumbled and cut up. So we're gonna put that in it. Um, I was gonna put uh, vegetable broth in it as well, but there was literally zero vegetable broth at the store. No idea why. There was there was a vegetable broth rush. <laughs> so anyway, we are gonna put this all together now. Okay. So <laughs> the way I have my camera set up right now, I have to take a picture of it and put it in with the video because <laughs> it's so funny. Cause so I was like, how can I do this to where it'd be like over the pot? And I was like, I know exactly how. <laughs> I made myself laugh. Okay, I'm back from the boys. We are ready to try this. That smells so good. I'm about to make a mess. Super hot. Obviously it's boiling. It's been on high for close to four hours and I am starving. Cool off for a minute. It's super hot, but super hungry. So, yeah, try it. Alright. Oh, so hot. Oh my goodness. This is the tiniest bite. It's so good. Oh man. Mm. This is amazing. I think this is probably the best. In fact, I know it's the best vegetable soup I've ever made. Because I've never made it like this before. Um, it's kind of similar as far as I know to how my grandpa always made vegetable soup and so good. Um, it's so crazy though because it's true what everybody says. Everybody's like, I don't understand how he can make soup and he just always puts the most random things in it and it always has different things in it but it always tastes exactly the same. And he could tell you how to make it and what spices to put in it and you could make it you could make it with him watching you and it wouldn't taste the same I don't know I don't know what it is about it and uh, really miss going over and eating his soup that he would make in a crock pot just like I just did um, but this is similar to what he would make so this, this makes me happy brings back a lot of really good memories so thank you guys for watching uh, you guys should really try this soup. You should really try to make it. It's good. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to enjoy this when it cools off, and I will see you guys later. So aren't you glad to meet me? I think you should.